do you think they got in there? King Kong? Oh, did you go through that? Hear what? Huh? Don't move. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dan Owen. I'm back with more. That's official. It's already, I just started, and it's already an official Dano channel video. Back with more. I'm back with more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom action figure reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Mercenary and Ankylosaurus little baby version. I don't even know if it's a baby. It might be like the Zia figure where it wasn't quite a baby. Who knows? But this is a new figure. This just started hitting stores this last week. Uh, there were reports of it coming out in California and I believe Ohio or something like that last weekend. So it's kind of neat that these are finally hitting stores. We're getting new stuff. Thank you, Mattel, for putting out new stuff, keeping our interest peaked in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line. I'm liking this. I'm liking a lot of... Guys, I'm liking a lot of this. This is good stuff. So this is a mercenary figure. He's just like a basic no-name character, like those background dudes that were kind of jerks to everybody. And I'm really glad that we're getting... This is now the... I want to say fourth different mercenary. There was a different mercenary on his own. He came with a little baby Demorphodon. Um, there was a mercenary that came with, with with the helicopter. That's two. There was a mercenary. I feel like there's an oh mercenary with Stiggy Malak pack. That's three. And now this one. This is a fourth different sculpt of a mercenary. There's another mercenary that comes with a quest for Indominus Rex skeleton set, but that's a repack of the original mercenary. So. Just, uh, it's kind of cool we get four different, like, random army dudes to be jerked with. All right, enough of my rambling. Let's take a look at the outside of the box here. On the top left, we've got that Jurassic World logo, like always. We've got the volcano blowing up in the background. You can see a little close-up here of this guy. He looks good, man. He looks really good. I, I'm just really wondering, what is this gray contraption that he comes with? It looks like it does move. It's some kind of, like, capture gear, I think, he can hold in his hands. Maybe capture the baby Ankylosaurus. Uh, we got Blue and Owen on the corner. It says Mercenary and Ankylosaurus. On the back, what do we got going on here? It says Jurassic World. There's no Jurassic World scan, fax, scan app thing because the dinosaur foot does not contain it. On the back here, we do show Zia. Shows the figure of Zia. We've got Owen Lockwood Battle. And then the other uh, Owen Baby Blue Trainer Owen. And that's about it. Other than this, it's the same stuff as it's been for the rest of the figures in the line. Oh, look! Zero to three sad babies approve of yet another Mercenary Sculpt. You know what? I approve of it, too. Let's open this thing up. I do love that Mattel has this little, like, flap thing. You can get your thumb in there, your finger in there, and just cleanly pop it open in case you're one of those people that wants to put it back in the package and display it. You can do so, and you haven't, like, ruined the whole thing. You can kind of re-glue it. It's neat. I like it. All right, let's do this, because why not? Um, let's see here. Take up a little capture claw. Got the little guy. Oh, yeah, I like the color of this guy, too. He's got a cool green going on his suit. That's that's awesome. Little brownish maroon ankylosaurus. I like it. I like it. Kind of squishy, but mostly solid. See, this throws back to the 93 Kenner stuff. When it used to get a figure, a cool little accessory. Little accessory. Little accessory. That would have some movement, right? They used to be backpacks and like grappling hooks or firing trank missiles or whatever. So this is a little bit of a step down on the weapon. But you'd still get a baby miniature dinosaur. The, my only complaint, and it's the same complaint I had with the one for Zia, was that the dinosaur was clearly a baby back in 93. You could tell the sculpt on it was of an infant tile, large eyes, you know, gummy features. I say gummy, but like rounded, more cartoony baby features. Um, whereas these look like sculpts of full-size dinosaurs that they just molded and scaled down and released this way. But either way, it's not a huge complaint for me because it's still cool we get a baby dinosaur. I like it. Uh, let's take a look at some close-ups of this guy in the diorama here. We'll go over some of the features. All right, we can see that there is some head rotation. Look at that head, though. I like the cool little cool guy haircut, cool guy sunglasses. He looks serious, like he's not messing around. Uh, as we look further down, I like that they painted silver, those little shackles things, whatever, on his suit. His little tactical armor or whatever. That's a nice touch. They painted him silver. It looks really good in the light. So he looks serious. He looks like he means business. I like he's got a little short sleeve on. He's wearing those cool guy gloves. He has this belt thing going, a little bandolier, whatever you want to call it. It goes around his chest there, his stomach area. A little tactical pack. Uh, the legs do rotate. The same articulation we've seen with almost every other figure. Knees bend and rotate. No ankle articulation. And he has some green combat boots. Looks good. Does he stand up? Yes, he does stand up. Cool, stands up very easily. 
Uh, let's take a look at his weird little gun thingy. And I don't know what this like a capture claw. I think it's like a capture claw. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It just kind of opens up, and it's like a weird scissors with weird little sensor things on the inside. I don't know what to make of this, but can we put it in his hands? That's the real question. Can I put it in this guy's hands? Ooh, we're off to a bad start. We're off to a bad start on being able to put this thing in his hands. I mean, it goes in there, right? But it's just like not, it's not meant to, you can tell. You can tell it's like, eh, I don't really want to make this thing fit in here. It will sit in his hands, you can actually do it. But what it does is it actually weighs him down up front. So you have to like lean him back and then he still kind of falls forward. Uh, okay, so I already, I'm gonna tell you this accessory is weak. Uh, there, I got him, you have to broaden his stance a little bit, make his legs a little bit wider, and he he will stay up with it. Um, but again, I don't, I don't know what, what the deal is with this. It's kind of like he's trying to, uh, he could obviously never pick up a dinosaur and stand with it, he'd just knock him over because the weight of it. So, it's an interesting figure, I think, you wanna see, look, he's, it's an interesting set, it's a cool set for eight bucks. I think it's cool. Yeah, you know what, not bad. All right, guys, now that we've taken a look at some close-ups, we've seen the package art, let's take a look at that mini-movie again. Here you go. What do you think they got in there? King Kong? Oh, did you guys hear that? Hear what? Huh? Don't move. <laughs> All right, so my opinion on this thing is for eight bucks, worth it. I'd say, yeah, it's worth it for eight bucks. He's a cool, unique mercenary figure, and that's good enough for me. The weapon, I could do without, but I'm glad we have something, because it does kind of help build the world a little bit, especially when you set him up in the diorama. It's kind of nice. Uh, the little baby Ankylosaurus is, again, the only complaint I've got is I wish he looked more like a baby. Maybe a little bit of paint would have been nice, but I, I see why they didn't. They at least painted the uh, Triceratops that Zia came with, so that was cool. But for now, I think I've reviewed all of the actual action figure humans that have come out so far most of the dinosaurs but man i i can't wait there's still going to be more humans i want to say abraham is is that his name abraham not arthur abraham i think his name's abraham um the young kid who's really funny i liked him in the movie uh but he's going to get a figure too allegedly what we saw at toy fair back in february so we'll see we'll see hopefully distribution gets to be a little bit better as we near Christmas. Or maybe he'll come out in 2019. I don't know. I don't think it's been officially announced yet. But again, guys, I want to know your thoughts. Is this a thumbs up pickup for you? Like, would you add this to your collection? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Let me know. And then leave it down in the comments below why. I want to know your thoughts on this figure. You guys saw him in the little diorama. You saw him get murdered. Because that's what happens on this channel. I like to murder all the mercenaries. They were jerks. They weren't good guys in the movie. So if, to me, it's okay to add a little murder to the Dano channel. Especially when it's with toys. Toys, oh, toys only. Uh, it's just I like having fun making those little films. So if you guys like them, let me know. I want your feedback on that. If you guys have been liking those little intro videos that I've been making, let me know. I think when I'm done reviewing all this, I'm going to take all of the little intro videos and string them together into one big like super cut, just because it's fun for me to get the camera out and set them up and do lighting and then edit them and add all the sound. I really, really enjoy doing that. It's a cool way, cool excuse for me to play with my toys as a 35 year old man. It's fun. I enjoy it. So guys, let me know your thoughts. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell because if you don't, YouTube will never tell you about my vids, but I don't want you to miss anything. So you gotta, unfortunately this sounds cheesy, but you have to watch regularly. If you stop watching the channel for a little while, if you're like, ah, I don't like Star Wars, and you start you know, only watching another video and I don't post anything for a little while, YouTube will forget me for your subscriptions basically. I'm subscribed to a ton of channels, even friends of mine that I do watch and I have the notifications turned on and YouTube still doesn't notify me about their videos. So the whole system's broken. I just hope you guys come back, check back for more content because every week I'm putting out more and more videos. I don't quite have a schedule down quite yet, but just know that there's gonna be new videos every week. They're either gonna be Star Wars, they're gonna be Jurassic World. It's probably gonna be both. I've got some Star Wars Micro Machines coming up, more lightsaber videos coming up because I know you guys love the lightsaber videos. And I appreciate you. If you have suggestions for anything else that you want to see on the channel, let me know. Reach out to me. You guys can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, at Dano Flores. And if you want to be featured in my videos, use hashtag SadBabySquad. I want to put you guys in the videos. 
because I appreciate you. I like what you guys are doing. There's also a Discord server, Discord chat server, where you guys can share your videos and creations over there too. Uh, it's a neat way if you're a smaller channel wanting you know get views, get other people's opinions on what you're working on. I got someone who's working on a book, a little fan fiction kind of thing going on. Like there's a lot of different stuff going on, and you guys have a bunch of really cool talents. And it's neat that we have a place where we can all showcase them. So that's what the Sad Baby Squad's all about. I want you to be a part of it. You know I love you guys. That's it. That's all I got for now. Until next time, hold on to your butts and goodbye forever. Now, just because today's video is over doesn't mean the fun has to stop. Be sure to click on one of these videos or playlists and keep it going. I put out new videos every week. We've got Star Wars content, lightsabers, lots of dinosaurs on the way. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that little notification bell. And if you can, share one of the vids. It's a great way to support the channel and it's much appreciated.